Here we go with another video on the uh, female reproductive system this time. Just another quick video for those of you who are trying to review for your exams. Uh, if we start with the entrance way, we, we pay it close attention that this is the uh, vaginal canal of the vag of vagina. We also see that these are vaginal rugae. I was kind of getting confused on what I wanted to point to first. But these are the vaginal rugae. Now, I want you to take a really close look at what we've got going on right here. These indentions, or this indention that goes all the way around the opening of the cervix, this indention here is actually known as the fornix. The fornix is pretty much there like the moat around a castle. It's there to catch debris and pathogens and keep sure, making sure that nothing enters any further into the track. This opening here is what's known as the external os of the cervix. And this area here is known as the cervical canal, which would make this area here the actual cervix. Think of the uterus as a pear. If you've ever seen just a standard pear in the grocery store, then you know how a pear is shaped. If you stand that pear upside down, the uh, larger portion of the pear or the uterus right here would be known as the fundus. The word fundus actually means dome shape, which you can see here. Now, the uterus also has multiple layers. Uh, the innermost layer where the... Uh, where the embryo will be implanted is actually known as the endometrium. We know that during uh, menses, the first phase of the uterine cycle, that endometrium is what sloughs off, is quickly removed, and then we spend the next two phases, the proliferative phase and the secretive phase, or the secretory phase, excuse me, um, of the uterine cycle uh, with a brand spanking new endometrium. The uh, next layer, which is also the thickest layer, happens to be the myometrium. That's made up of uh, all smooth muscle. Here's some uh, tricky questions that your teacher might throw at you. Remember that the hormone that uh, if you see that hormone take a sharp drop uh, in concentrations in the body, the, the sharp drop in concentrations of progesterone is what leads to menses or a woman's period and causes the endometrium to be removed. The hormone oxytocin is what targets the uh, myometrium and causes it to go have contractions during labor. The uh, outermost layer uh, is the parametrium, which is wrapped around the outermost portion of the uterus. If we spin this around, then this model does an interesting thing. It kind of exposes the inside of an ovary and uh, also shows how uh, we can start off with a much smaller follicle. This looks like it could possibly be a primary follicle, moving on to a secondary follicle, and then on to a graphene follicle. So if we saw this follicle here, we would say, oh, he's about to ovulate, which would happen on day 14. And then after ovulation occurs, that uh, secondary oocyte would then move its way up against the fimbriae and then travel into the fallopian tube. Last but not least, after that, uh, after that follicle has ovulated, we would then move on to the processing of creating um, a corpus luteum in which the corpus luteum would be responsible for producing progesterone primarily.